stranded there. We couldn't figure out where to go. Oh, God. <laughs> We're standing there like, where do we go? The entrance over there seems really strange Look, to me. That looks more like an entrance right over there than yeah. anything else. Maybe this is going to be an entrance because it looks like they're doing that thing with the sign. Maybe. Yeah, we couldn't figure out where to go. Some guy came to the door. He was like, go that way. Well, movies, Hunger Games, trailers. That's what it's all about, trailers. And the seats. Cash talked about coming to see the movies, and he mostly talked about was actually the seats in the movie. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, it's like you can tell me a little bit more about the movie if you want to, but no, he talked more about the seats than anything else. Now syncs with the First Look program you're watching to bring exclusive content right to your phone. Bring the cinema to life. Download Movie Night Out with Cinema Sync free. Yeah. I think so. And now I'm at Target. You think what? I think I think the movies will get better and better. Because there's a second and third one, right? Yeah. yeah. The movie was okay. Like I just said, I said I gave it a six. Because you haven't read the book. Right, because I haven't read the book. But what I do give a 10 is that bald cat on a leash that we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do wish I could have had this out for that. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You know, it was a good day today. The movie was good, had some fun at home. When we did get home, Dad had made some gumbo. Ooh, boy. And it was probably, like, I know I probably say it every time, but it was a really good pot of gumbo. Probably the best one ever. It was just really good. Um, Jada lost a tooth. Cool. She's all upset about it. Ah, it hurts. It hurts. I don't want it. Just pull it out. She pulled it out. It's like she didn't want Dad or Jennifer to touch it at all, but she goes into the bathroom for not even a minute comes walking right back out with a tooth. There you go. That was pretty cool. Oh well. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. It'll be another day. I will definitely see you tomorrow. Another day off. And uh, we're gonna do some editing. And we're gonna get some videos uploaded. Probably two or three videos uploaded between the Invince Log and Zelda Chief 128. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I will see you tomorrow. You sleep tight. Good night. Well, you were supposed to be nice. But supposed to be nice and is nice are two completely different things in the state of Washington. So, it's not bad though for it being, uh, you know, a nice cool April day. I'm going to try not to get you too wet or anything like that, but I'm on my way to pay the rent right now. Pay the rent. It is April the 4th, and um, not a whole lot going on today. Very uh, calm day, more than anything else. And um, yeah, just not a lot going on, really. <sighs> Got a lot of cleaning done, which is good. I um, had a great dinner most excellent gonna go back over to dad and Jennifer's again tomorrow as well yeah I keep on saying dad and Jennifer's dad's here still for another week I believe but um, in the meantime what else we got going on Friday in just two more days there's gonna be payday and payday means ticket purchases Yes, that's right, ticket purchases. Janista has agreed with me, um, or Janista has agreed anyway to go with me up to Seattle on May the 5th to meet, or, you know, watch Projected Twin and meet Corey Williams. Mr. Safety, SMP Films, Dude Like Hella, The Mean Kitty. I cannot wait. I cannot remember the last time I've ever been so excited because I'm actually going to meet someone that I really, that really inspires me. And uh, that's very exciting because how often does that actually happen? I mean, think about that for a minute. Think about that. How often, like, just stop for one moment and think who, whether it's a celebrity or just 
Well, for the most part, I mean, it would be celebrity kind of more than, more than anything else. Like, how often is it that you ever get to meet someone who has a worldwide, wor worldwide, worldwide recognition and inspires you? I mean, he really does. He's extremely in... He's a very inspirational person. And I want my epic man hug. <laughs> I, of course, you know, about a year ago when he did the living spaces thing to win the, win the money to get the furniture, I mean, I was one of the people who watched the video to help him get first place, and he said, I want an epic man hug, so that's what he's going to get. But he's not going to get that until May 5th. Or at least I'm not anyway. I'm sure I'm probably going to get tackled or pummeled or something along those lines, because they look pretty devastating. But I'm looking forward to it, so... I can't stop thinking about it though. I'm definitely taking that day off from work. Whether I'm, I don't know if I'm still gonna be on working the weekends or not by that point in time. It is only a month and away, and there's no shift bids right now. I did put in for a shift bid the other day. I don't know if I told you. It was gonna be uh, Monday through Thursday, 10 hours. Didn't get it. it. Really sucked, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pay my rent now though. Ugh. You know, it wouldn't be too bad of an evening if it wasn't misting. That's the biggest gripe that I have. I mean, of course it's the rainy season, it's April, but it's not raining. It's like, I feel foolish to walk outside with an umbrella, but it's not raining. It's like a mist, and that's what happens in Washington, okay? For those of you who've never lived here before or anything like that, I know what you're thinking because it's exactly what I was thinking when I first moved out here. It rains all the time. No, actually it doesn't. It rains a lot, you know, winter through early spring, but then, you know, once late spring comes and early summer and autumn, it doesn't really rain a whole lot, but it does this. You can't tell unless little drops can see on my glasses or are on the camera lens that it's misting. And that's all it does, it's mist. And then you get stuff like this. Moss on the ground, or moss on your car. Yes, that's right. I have to get like a little scraper thing and get the moss off my car. It grows around the grows around the edges of my window because you know you got the little rubber um, rubber like around the windows. Obviously, to help cater to the fact that you don't want to get you know water in your car or anything like that. So those spots in my car get a little mossy at times. You take a little scraper to it. Get it off there. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed as well, I got my voice back. That's really nice. Uh, not like I feel like I've been congested, but I don't. My nose isn't stuffy. It's like it's in the back of my throat. I almost feel like it maybe be allergies. I've never had allergies before. And I know people say all the time you can get allergies at any point in time for any reason. I just wish I knew for sure. For sure. <laughs> I, I, I really don't think it's something I would want to go to a doctor for and waste a bunch of money on. I mean, I'm fairly certain a self-diagnosis would be more than sufficient. But at the same time, I don't want to say, oh yeah, this is what that is. And I need to take this and end up like having the doses, dosage of medicine being way too strong or something like that and get really sick from it or something. Thank you for mail today. Oh, look at that. Just my weekly paper. Coupons and, and crap in it, basically. Nothing helpful. Although I did go to Safeway today and I spent about 61 bucks on groceries, the bare essentials, until Friday because that's payday. But I saved like 30. Oh, there on that. Now I saved like 30 bucks. Not bad. You just gotta know what you're looking for. It's nice. Alright everyone. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed. Today was not too bad of a day. Got a lot done around the house, nice and clean. I feel very refreshed and all caught up with everything. And I've got all my email accounts all managed and just everything is nice everything is good so i'm gonna go ahead and head to bed work tomorrow back to the salt mines so 
I will see you then. Good night. Hello.